WLBT First Alert Weather. And our heat wave continues. Now the 21st straight day where we've topped out into the 90s and more on the way. For the record this afternoon, we made it up to 96 degrees in Jackson. Average high this time of the year is 90. Still no records being broken. Uh, records are in the low 100s today with 102 for Jackson set back in 1930. So about 80 years ago, uh, we had uh, triple digits across the area. But uh, looks like as we head into this week, temperatures continue to be fairly warm. Now look back throughout the month of June, going all the way back to June 6th. That's when we first reached the lower 90s for this month. And we've seen temperatures at or above 92 degrees for the last three weeks. And this week will make week number four with highs remaining into the 90s. Still muggy out there this evening. In fact, lows only into the middle 70s once again. 96 tomorrow. We'll do it all over again on Monday, it looks like, with those temperatures into the mid-90s and very humid conditions. In fact, heat indices this evening into the triple digits over towards Meridian, where it's 100. Also feels like 100 down in Natchez, upper 90s. Vicksburg, 97 over in Greenville. So very, very warm, humid conditions, and that's why the heat advisory continues Right on through tomorrow for the area shaded in pink here, the Mississippi Delta, Vicksburg, the Jackson metro area, and then in south Mississippi, heat indices near 105 degrees and low temperatures not dropping below 74, 75 in most cases. It's been fairly stormy across north Mississippi this afternoon. Some strong thunderstorms, and these have been slow-moving storms. Flash flood warnings across parts of northeast Mississippi, but very quiet in central and southern parts of the state with high pressure setting overhead. And with that high in place, there's only going to be just a little relief from the heat. And we're going to have to wait a couple more days to get that in here. There will be some better rain chances coming in on Tuesday, it looks like. And I'm still watching Tropical Storm Alex very closely. We'll talk about that here in a moment. But here's the high pressure that remains over us tonight. It's going to again continue to slide off to the east. And as it does so, it will begin to break down and weaken somewhat as we go into early next week. But for your Sunday, it's going to be another very hot day, maybe a storm or two around the area. But most areas remain dry. Temperatures once again into the mid-90s. That high continues to slide off to the east heading into Monday. It will weaken, and as it does so, we'll see a little bit better chance to see some showers across the area on Monday. And then there will be a cold front coming in off the north. And it looks like this front may actually make it down into Mississippi. Very unusual this time of the year to see a front move through, but it looks like this one will come in late Monday to Tuesday, and that'll bring us a little bit better chance for rain and somewhat cooler temperatures. All right, an update on the hurricane season and tropical storm. Alex now in the western Caribbean getting ready to make landfall there near Belize and then move across the southern Yucatan Peninsula tonight. Right now, winds are at 65 miles per hour, so it's just shy of being a hurricane. Headed to the west now at 10, and most of the computer models Take the storm into the Bay of Campeche as we go into early next week. Notice this is nowhere near where the oil spill is. So that will certainly be a good thing if these models hold true. We'll keep you posted on that. Here are the next seven days for you. Temperatures remain well into the 90s for the upcoming week. Better chance for rain in here late Monday into Tuesday. Maybe some strong thunderstorms around, but no sign of uh, any.